Hello, today I will talk about something related to footings. Okay, I will talk about says pet footing, shift footing, valve, and shallow valve, and then the combined foundation. Normally, we say that if the footing is less than V, we call this footing type. Okay, the first one is the pet footing. Most likely, if the pet footing with only one column, we say this is a pet footing. You can see the steel reinforcement. Normally, it's only required is the bottom reinforcement because the loading will be go down and then the upper force will be resisted by the soil. And then you can see the steel reinforcement. In the middle, most likely, you will see the this they are the columns. This is so called the stirrup and main reinforcement, and then the bottom reinforcement. After they complete the steel reinforcement, they will do the form work and then do the concrete. You can see the final product of the footing is something like this. And then you can see if the footing is supported, support the wall. We call this is the strip footing. It's most likely is a very long one and then you can see the final product is also like this and you can see this is the the arrow means the footing is resisted by the soil and then the soil will go bend up and then you provide the reinforcement to take the tension force okay and then this is the so-called valve we use the valve to support the column and the walls above and then you can see this is a very another common types of the valve foundation all the columns and the uh, uh, wall we just rest on one type of foundation and then this can prevent any uneven settlement between one corner to corner and then this is the best option if you want to make sure the building is will not be have any uneven settlement okay and then we can talk about so called the cellular valve and then we take out the voice to reduce the cell weight of the foundation and then you can take much more loading okay if you can imagine if the voice is filled up with concrete it is very heavy and take the bearing capacity already and then if this take out the uh, concrete and egg make the walls the cell weight of footing will be re reduced and then the spare capacity can be used to resist the building load you can see this is a so-called uh, steel enforcement and then the form and the last one I will talk about the combined foundation sometimes if there's a parameter column the footing will be offset and it will be bending and in order to make the balance between the two footings, we use the balance beams, sometimes we call strap beam. And this is a so-called different type of strap beam. Sometimes the strap beam will be on the top and the taper. And maybe there's an underground utilities, okay? And this is another type. And we talk about some basic principle of the design. As I said before, the footings take the SO low if there's a only a solo all the loading will be resisted by the soil if the soil is having uh, enough capacity on the same time if we have the moment you can see the moment combined with the so load and then they will have a much more loading near the edge also if this value is not exist the existing bearing capacity and then we say this is okay and uh, Another option is sometimes the central will be the moment or the moment may be too large and then the central will be shift to the left and then this is another equation to make sure you check the bearing capacity is enough, okay? This is the end of the presentation, thank you.